Welcome back to Anderson Acres. We are gardening today, sort of. What we're going to do is we're going to germinate some seeds. I'm going to show you a tried and true, surefire way to germinate your seeds. Okay? It's really, really, really easy and it can be done with pretty much any type of seed and if you have really old seeds and you're not sure if they're even going to grow at all, this is a good way to test them to find out if they're even worth putting in the garden. So what we're going to do, what we need first is we need a wet paper towel. Okay, it's scrunched up in my hand right now because I don't want it to dry out. You're going to need a zippy bag. It can be Ziploc brand or not. The brand does not matter as long as it has a zipper top. Okay, as long as you have a zipper top on your bag. And you're going to need some seeds. So this is my little container of garden seeds. And I'm going to do yellow peppers today. Okay? That's what I'm going to do, but it can be any seed. Like I've got all kinds of things. I've got tomatoes, I've got lettuce, I've got cantaloupe, I've got, you know, whatever seeds you have. I want to do yellow peppers because I don't have yellow peppers in my garden right this second. I have a couple other kinds, but not yellow. So how we start is we get our wet paper towel. You really get your wet paper towel wet, like super wet, and then you squeeze out the water. So now it's a damp paper towel. And what we're going to do is open this up if we can find the edges so what you do is you fold it in half before you get it wet and now it's a wet paper towel that was folded in half so i'm just using you know those select size paper towels so that you can fold it in half and fit it in your um, bag really easy so then you're going to need some seeds so just so you know these seeds are really 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 old okay i've been using up really old seeds that i had so what you do is you just take your seeds Kind of space them out. You can do more than I'm doing, but I don't have that many seeds. So I'm just doing like three per row. Because I actually only have eight seeds. So you can do more seeds than that if you like. Push them into the paper towel a little bit so that they kind of are sitting there. And then you're going to take your paper towel, fold it over, smooth it down. So you kind of trap those seeds. Okay, so you have your seeds one, two, three, four four, five, six, seven, eight. They are in here. Smooth that down. You want to open up your plastic bag. Now this one I've used before. You can clean these bags easily. I'll talk about that in a minute. But so you just take your paper towel, slide it in there nice and flat. I like to squeeze all the air out. Some people like to put a little bit of air in the bag. I don't. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't make any difference. I've done it both ways and it really doesn't make a difference. So if you like to put a little bit of air in there to increase the greenhouse effect, feel free. If you don't, that's fine too. Like I squeeze them out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to write what this is. So this is a golden pepper. So we're just going to write with a Sharpie. You just need any permanent marker. It doesn't matter. So I'm writing golden pepper, write what you are putting in there. And now you need to find two dates. If you are using a packaged seed, the dates will actually be on here. So I look here and it says 14 days germination. You're scratching me. <laughs> You're scratching me. Okay. <laughs> You're scratching me. Stop it. There's a kitten climbing up my leg. So the first date you want to find is your germination date. So if I look on this package of peppers, it says it'll take 7 to 14 days. So I rate the date that is 14 days away. So in my case, based on today when I'm recording this video, that's June 26. Okay? So on June 26, these will either sprouted or not sprouted. The second date I need is the um, maturity date. So how long this takes. This variety of pepper, first of all, this type of seed, this brand, puts the date right there. So it's 75 days from now. So that's two and a half months, basically. So if we're in the middle of June right now, we're looking at the end of August, beginning of September. So I'm going to write that as well. Okay, so I'm going to write September 1. That date doesn't have to be exact, okay? That date is roughly then, okay? So I have no more seeds in here, but I'm actually going to keep this packaging anyway because I can put 
if these grow, I'll be able to harvest the seeds from one of those peppers and put it in this package. So we're going to keep the package. Okay, so we're keeping this package and we're keeping our bag. Now I have to take you into the bedroom. <laughs> Sounds weird, but that's the window that has the best light and I'll show you what we do next. All right, so here we are at our window. This is in my bedroom, but this is an excellent southern exposure window. So pick the one you'll see. I have a whole bunch of things taped on here already, but pick a window that has great southern exposure. In my case, it's my bedroom, okay? So that's why we're in my bedroom. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our golden peppers with our two dates, our germination and our maturity date, and we're gonna stick that on the window like so and get the high stop out of the way and just tape that onto the window now he gets lots of sun this moisture is locked in so they have moisture and they have heat from the sun and that should make them sprout so we come back on june 26 and see if these are sprouting if they're not they're garbage if they are they go into the garden so i'm going to show you the result of my red peppers so we're going to go back out to the living room and take a look at my red pepper envelope. All right, so I lied a second ago. This is actually my orange peppers. <laughs> I planted my red peppers yesterday. So these are actually my orange peppers. I like to have all variety of pepper growing in my garden. So these are my orange peppers. Uh, these were for germination on June 11th, which was actually yesterday. But that's what I'm doing right now is going to take these out and plant them. So what we're going to do is pull these out, set this aside, and we have obviously some germination happening because a leaf just fell off. So look at that. Look at that. These guys are going. So these were obviously pretty darn good seeds because I have quite a lot. I've got a couple that didn't germinate. These guys down here didn't go, so we're just going to pull them out. So the couple that didn't grow, you just kind of pluck them out. It's not a big deal. You don't have to pluck them out. I like to. You didn't grow. So the couple that just didn't grow at all, you can just pull out or you can leave them. It actually doesn't make a difference at all. It really doesn't matter. So I've got quite a few. I'm actually pretty pleased given that these were also really old seeds. So these, you check on your date. So in my case, I checked a day late, but it's not really that big a deal. So this was for June 11th. Now my orange peppers are growing like mad. So I am ready to put them in the garden. Now, how you do this is really, really easy. You have two options, okay? You can close this up and plant this entire thing, just a very light little bit of soil on top. So you just push this whole thing down, or you can open it up like this. And again, you lay it down and you put a light layer of soil because you want these green parts to come up. You can do that or you can grab your, try to separate your seedlings. So this guy, for example, he's a little seedling, little tiny root, little tiny leaf end. And what you do is you can plant him in a pot or you can plant him directly in the ground, root side down, you can do that. I like to, most of the time, plant the entire thing. So I really underestimated how many of these would grow so let go so there we go so this guy for example is ready to go in the garden or a pot so what you can do is you can separate them out if you want or you can just plant the entire medium directly in your soil it's up to you the other thing i like to do is i like to get myself one of these little uh signs you can find them at your garden center or your local dollar store. It doesn't matter. So you find this sign, and I write what this is. So this is an orange pepper. Okay, and I like to put also a date on it. So the dates, there's a reason I write the dates on my bags. So again, I had two dates. Now that first date is now irrelevant. They've sprouted. But the second date is my estimated maturity date. So I'm just going to write that on there too. So around August 20th, these will be full grown and ready for harvest. Now, that date is not set in stone. That date will move a little bit depending on the temperature, the humidity, how much sun your flower bed gets, um, the type of plant. Some plants have a really 
wide maturity date. So in the case of peppers, sometimes they mature really early, so they can mature around 55 days. Sometimes they take 75 or even 90 days. So this is just a guess. If your peppers grow when they turn orange, they're ready for harvesting. So I just like to have my estimated, they'll probably be ready around this time written on here. So now all I have to do is plant them. The dog's grumbling, I don't know why. So I don't know why you're grumbling and I don't know why the kittens are meowing. There's nothing exciting happening. Go to sleep. Ow, kitten. <laughs> anyway, if you wanna see the bane of my existence right now, Little baby DK, burning DK, here he is. He's really annoying, he's trying to climb up my legs. <laughs> so, and I'm wearing a dress, so climbing up my legs is kind of hurting. Anyway, <laughs> so now we take these out to the garden and we plant them. Okay, it's really easy. You can leave it like this, you can fold it over, it doesn't matter, it really doesn't matter. You just put a little bit of dirt over them and they will grow. Okay, you can even grow them in individual pots like this. Put them in, put a pot, there you go, ba boom. Oops, throwing my seedling around. Be gentle with your seedlings. Don't do what I do and chuck them around. So we're ready to take that out to the garden. One little bit of advice, you can reuse these bags. That goes with that. You can reuse these bags. So turn them inside out and give them a really good wash because you don't want, if there was sometimes seeds will mold and you don't want any mold spores in there. So turn them inside out and wash them. You can take the words off with a little bit of hand sanitizer because permanent markers are alcohol based and alcohol dissolves alcohol. So use a little bit of hand sanitizer on your finger and just kind of erase your words. It doesn't work with a bare finger, but I promise it works with a little bit of hand sanitizer on your finger or rubbing alcohol and just ch -ch 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 gone. So then you can reuse your bags. I do reuse my bags for the entire season. At the end of the season, I throw them out because I will use new bags next year. There's no point in me keeping them year to year, but I do like to reuse them four or five times before I get rid of them. Maximize my usage, minimize my waste. So that's about it for us here today. I hope you use this little trick to germinate your seeds and it really will help you if you have older seeds because then you'll know if they're viable or not. But it doesn't only work on older seeds. You can do brand new out of the package seeds. It just lets you see how many seedlings you have. It helps you germinate them a little bit faster than you might germinate them in the soil because they have the warmth and the heat and the moisture that they need to get a good start in life. But that's about it for us here today at Anderson Acres. We'll see you tomorrow.